The biting wind whipped across the highway, carrying the scent of exhaust and the distant hum of traffic. A small skeletal figure, barely a shadow against the asphalt, struggled to its paws. Its once proud coat, matted and dull, clung to its emaciated frame. This was Snow White, a name she wouldn't receive for weeks, a name that at that moment seemed a cruel mockery of her state. She was found by a passing motorist, a young man named Jacques, who, despite his own struggles, couldn't leave her to the mercy of the road. He brought her to the local pound, a place of harsh concrete and echoing cages, where hope seemed as thin as Snow White's ribs. Her time was running out. With no one claiming her, she was slated for euthanasia. But fate, it seemed, had other plans. A group of dedicated volunteers from a small rescue organization in Montreal heard her story. They weren't known for grand gestures, but they had a deep-seated belief in the power of second chances. They intervened, pulling Snow White from the brink and whisking her away to their sanctuary. The first few weeks were a blur of needles and antibiotics. Snow White, weak and scared, was battling a multitude of infections. Despite her fragile state, she held on to a spark of life, a tiny flicker of hope that she wouldn't be left to die. The dedicated volunteers, with their gentle hands and unwavering compassion, nurtured that spark, giving it the air it needed to breathe and grow. Snow White underwent surgery, a procedure that was painful and frightening, but necessary to give her a chance at a future free from the burdens of her past. As she recovered, her body began to heal, her fur regaining its lost luster, a soft white cloud against the gray of the world. Weeks turned into months, and Snow White, no longer a shadow, blossomed into a confident cat, her eyes reflecting the warmth of the sun. She was loved by her foster family, who showered her with cuddles and treats. She thrived on their attention, purring like a tiny engine, her tail a constant metronome against the rug. Then, one crisp November morning, a young woman named Isabel walked into her life. Isabel, drawn to Snow White's gentle spirit and captivating beauty, fell in love at first sight. She knew this was the cat meant for her, the cat who would fill the quiet spaces in her life. After spending almost five months in her foster home, Snow White went home with Isabel, a home filled with warmth and love, a home where she would finally know what it meant to be cherished. Snow White, once a shadow on the highway, was now a beacon of hope, proving that even the most fragile of souls can find their way back to the light.